Hello, so this video explains the connection of Narain Smart Connect mobile controller to Oakleg or Jelco starters. So as you all know, Narain Smart Connect mobile controller can be integrated with any starter. So this video just explains connection of this to Oakleg or Jelco starters, both of them uh, look alike. And another thing to be added is when you are purchasing Smart Connect, uh, please make sure you send us the image of the start starter that you have so that we can configure Smart Connect according to the starter. So, alright, so this uh, Smart Connect is configured to uh, Oakleg or Jelco, which both of them they look alike. So, this kind of a three phase starter. So, this is again a three phase uh, mobile controller. <coughs> so, having a look at the starter, it looks something like this. So, there will be uh, an electronic push button here you will not have any physical push buttons you'll just have the electronic on and off the green and red buttons then you will have relays inside instead of contactor so they call this model as a phaser so that uh, it interchanges the phases accordingly so that motor runs in one particular direction so because of which there's no contactor here instead they have used a dc relay and when it comes to the uh, connections it will be incoming connectors on the left hand side incoming ryb power supply should be connected here and the motor cables to be connected on the right hand side three way connector okay so when it comes to the smart connect so you will have uh, seven wires coming out of it so the first set of wires would be red yellow and blue so these are supposed to be given to the input of your motor starter so these red and yellow and blue are the supply wires which are supposed to be tapped from the same point where you uh, derive the power supply for the starter so red yellow blue to be connected to these three terminals the incoming terminals of the starter and then you will have uh, two green wires and two gray wires as shown here so the green wire should be connected in parallel to the start push button and gray wires to be connected in parallel to the stop push button so parallel uh, meaning uh, only for these kind of starters you are supposed to make a parallel connection for the other other starters uh, the connections vary okay, we will we'll quickly have a look how to uh, do that parallel connection so as you all know and as you can see uh, yeah the starter has a PCB mounted beneath these buttons so just to uh, you can just this will be there will be a groove here just uh, lifting this you will get the PCB outside this is the mount of the PCB okay so here is the display part and on the left hand side you can see the PCB and on the inside as well you can see these components. So all we are interested here is uh, the behind or the points of start and stop push buttons. Once you can see the start push button just behind the start push button you will have these two connectors the, the same connectors of this start push button. So for these two connectors you need to solder two wires coming out of our smart connect mobile controller. So that is two green wires to be connected to the start push button points and two gray wires to be connected to stop push button points. So this is the stop push button just behind this you can see these two terminals here. So these two are the stop terminals okay. So the wires to be soldered to these two points. So pretty simple all you need is a soldering gun to make the connection so once you are done with the connections then you can just uh, mount the pcb back in, inside the slot given and that's it about the uh, start and stop connections and then uh, connecting uh, coming to the smart connect you need to uh, have these cts connected there will be ct provision given along with the smart connect you will have these three cts given in the package so the incoming supply wires that is the power carrying wires that come from your fuse to be uh, passed inside these cts so the ct will have a hole so you need to pass the three individual cts inside the holes and then go to the starter as incoming so those three wires will then go to the starter as incoming here and uh, the wires coming out of the CTs. Each CT will have two wires. So you can see these red and black wires. These are the CT wires. These wires have to be connected to the smart connect. So you can see these three terminals. Terminals will also be provided. So you need to plug them up. The three CTs, the one coming from the red CT to the first one, yellow CT to second one, and the blue CT to third one. Okay. So these three connectors to be connected here and these two to be locked precisely. So you just need to press them so that the connectors lock 
and please make sure all the connectors are tightly fitted and then you will have to connect this antenna antenna also will be provided in the package uh, you will just have to uh, you know plug the antenna here this is the antenna connector you just have to tighten this and make sure the antenna is located in a metal surface so that it, it has a magnet behind uh, so the magnet just uh, sticks onto any metal surface just make sure that the signal reception is good at the place where you place the antenna then the last but not the least very important thing is you have to buy a sim card uh, for this standalone product and then the sim card to be inserted inside the slot provided here uh, you'll have to make sure that the notch of the sim card goes inside so the notch should be going pointing towards uh, uh, you know inside the pcb you just have to slide the sim card inside the slot okay so this kind of a slot is provided just to make sure that no one takes out the sim card by mistake okay and once this is all done you will have to power off the device and reboot it again so this is the 12 volt dc you will have to reboot it again so that all the configurations they get loaded so i'm also plugging in the start the power supply to the starter <coughs> so you can see the display lighting up there'll be the voltage on the first line and the second line reads the uh, current or the status of the motor once it's done uh, the a configuration of the booting of the device takes place and uh, the re registered mobile numbers they receive the messages so once the smart connect boots and gets connected to the network you will receive the message uh, to the registered mobile number <coughs> as yeah you can just have a look i just received a message stating that the power supply is back so that i just powered on power supply is back and it is safe to turn on the motor and along with the three voltages okay so if i wish to uh, turn on the motor so i'll just have to give a call from the registered number to the smart connect so on the reception the motor is turned on you can just have a look so device cuts the call you'll have to wait for the device to cut the call yeah. so there you go the motor turned on so device cuts the call and it turns on the motor once the motor is on you will receive a feedback message stating that the motor is turned on successfully so we'll just have to wait for that message to come from the device so on every successful motor on and motor off you will receive a message from the device we'll just wait for the message i just received a message stating that the motor is successfully turned on initiated by uh, this particular mobile number and uh, the three voltages in the three lines and the currents in all the three lines okay with the decimal accuracy so this is what uh, the smart connect is capable of you can uh, take control of your motor operation uh, anywhere in india okay similarly if i want to check the status you have a, a lot of features which will be explained in the smart connect specific uh, videos and if you wish to turn off the motor again it is the same procedure so you will give a call and the device switches off the motor and intimates you with a message so we'll just uh, motor is right now running you can uh, just uh, check the motor off operation as well. Yeah. The device cut the call and we'll just wait for the message. The motor is turned off and then the device checks this and responds back with the message. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait for the message from the device. <coughs> so the message delivery takes around 5 to 10 seconds approximately after the operation is complete. And once done, yeah, there you go. So motor successfully turned off, initiated by this number. And this message will be delivered to all the three registered mobile numbers so that you can be assured of um, the motor operation or the motor status. And yeah, this is uh, about the connections of Smart Connect Mobile Controller to Oak Lake or Jelco starters. I hope the video was clear. If you have any queries, please do contact us on double nine seven double two four three double seven four. I repeat, our contact number is double nine seven double two four three double seven four. You can also uh, WhatsApp us on the same number or you can browse our website www.narayanelectrics.in if you want to purchase this product and yeah, feel free to contact us. Thank you so much for watching this video.